Have you ever seen a fur coat like this? The price is hundreds of thousands. This must be it. This price will surprise many people because it is more expensive than crocodile skin. Joker, this is a shirt made of chinchilla skin. The chinchilla was once a species of rat that was driven to the brink of extinction by industry. By now, fur traders and chincha rat farming industries were growing. Here in North America, let's look at how farmers raise these rare species. Currently, the United States has the largest population of chinchillas with countless farms in every state. North America has produced a large number of them over the years. It is understood that there are approximately 8,000 known chinchillas on the largest farms. The United States was the first country to do so and successfully imprisoned them. American breeders can start by thinking about the chess pieces. The Chinchilla Breeders Association was founded in 1938 entirely by breeders and dedicated to the pet air industry. Farms in these areas are organized into many large and small competitions so that these breeders can observe and exchange experiences. The aim of all this is to make livestock farming more efficient and have huge benefits for the industry. The cages for these animals are designed like other animals. Fur producers were kept in cages and smelted in rows in one area. The barn heating system in this cage ensures that the animals can grow well. It is necessary to clean the bottom of the stable to ensure that there are no sores from animal feces and that the living environment is safe and supportive. Chinchillas grow well and provide higher quality fur. Providing them with an adequate diet and balanced nutrition is vital to your health. Breeding herbivores, meaning they only eat rodents from the same plant sources as other substances. These animals have complex and sensitive digestive systems. They need a diet rich in fiber and whole grasses so that your digestive system can work properly. Farmers can add chinchilla-friendly pellets to ensure nutrition. Their reproductive capacity is a factor and has important implications for development. Exploitation can reoccur at any time of the year and the gestation period is 111 days. Rodent Maldi is less expensive than other skin types because of the large amount of it. Chinchillas are animals bred for their fur, providing the finest fur and trusted by many designers. Clothing manufacturers around the world are becoming increasingly familiar with the bison and zorro skins. Totoro contains countless charming details and is extremely soft and luxurious, making it the most searched for in the world. In fact, its fur is so valuable that for its size and weight it is considered the most valuable coat in the skin world. Their skins are worth up to 100,000 yuan. Due to details, you may need up to 400 hides to make that coat. Due to the complexity and cost of the skin, such fur coats are very expensive and not everyone can get them out there. Most of these animals are currently used in industry, and the fur accessories used to make clothing and other items are still raised on farms. They are very rare in nature, but they are kept commercially as household pets by many people. My chinchilla is a family pet, just like dogs and cats. Chinchillas are very close and friendly to humans. The tanning industry has grown into a $100 billion industry, and dollars and products are absolutely inexpensive in the world. You are a stranger. Products made from cowhide, buffalo, or crocodile, but a specific type of leather has been used in many areas throughout history, stingray leather for thousands of years. So how do fishermen get the skin of Rada? We invite you to explore it. Unlike our wide and flat bodies, manta rays are unlike any other PZ of the sea, but in fact they are relatives of sharks and their bodies. They have no bones in their natural environment. Manta rays live in small waters, some of which are deep close to the coast, in the warmest places in the world. They spend most of their time here hiding from predators such as sharks or waiting for prey to swim by. Unlike many, manta rays caught in the wild receive less attention in the ocean than other species of marine fish. From culinary lists around the world, its catch and food are limited, but radha leather is a premium material in the industry. Therefore, fashion and accessories have expanded their farms. Mantar Rad's farms, mainly family members, use recycling systems in large tanks is an environment. Cleaning should release 50 to 10 manta rays per area, giving them room to operate and avoiding overdensity which would affect the quality of the skin. After harvesting, like nature does, manta rays prefer to eat fish, crustaceans, and invertebrates. When the farm raises food, stingrays are fed daily, especially shrimp and small fish, and the residues are cleaned up every day. 
how much food is left in the tank. To raise the rays on the farm, fishermen will release male and female stingrays in the bay. After fertilization, the female rays will be kept and the pilata will be raised in the tank. Unlike many fish, solitary ocean manta rays do not lay eggs, but they give birth to live young. Female manta rays give birth to four pups per brood, and the animals are born to follow each other and are separated into individual tanks, which is a special care for the pups. Manta rays are sold commercially for hundreds of dollars each, primarily for decorative purposes. The maturity period for manta rays is between 10 and 12 months, and they can grow up to 2 meters in length, depending on the species of stingray when they reach age. Adults were transported to the facility for collection of their meat and skins, and tan products from stingray skins became popular starting in the 17th century. The outer wings are processed for consumption, and the strips of skin on the back are removed. Tanners use sharp knives to carefully separate the skin. Once complete, starting from the spine of the cut piece, the leather is sent to a tanning and processing facility. Skin treatments require different tanning methods. If the skin is untreated, then conventional methods are used. Lada was considered useless, but technological advancements changed Lada's status in skin leather products, a product with high commercial and economic value. Manta Lada's skin is cheap, but its value increases by around 900 pounds when tanned. The price for a later peel tan is between 50 pounds and 50 pounds, depending on its size and pattern. Oh, soft and smooth is people's first feeling. This softness brings comfort to the skin when people come into contact with them and use leather products. By Mantarea, this is a very important factor for those who are looking for it. The products are not only beautiful but also very useful for your skin. It is protected by natural layers and is waterproof, which helps the product remain protected from the elements. In addition to its good resistance to scratches in the environment and climate, it has become a favorite material that can be used for a long time, retaining its original beauty. It currently uses exfoliated skin in many beautiful fashion accessories, and its leather collections are centuries old. It is a high-quality material for nobles. The uniqueness of this type of skin lies in each of their prints. These patterns are traces. Lada makes a difference in carpet development. Thanks to this skin, each product has unique features. Products made from Lada leather become unique and unlike any other. Have you ever written an article? Please leave a comment if you have chinchilla fur and let us know your opinion. Today's video ends here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel now. Goodbye. See you in the next video. Mantarea, this is a very important factor for those who are looking for it.